Bismillah Rahman Rahim with presentation of online classes for the student of MA English uh, Institute of English Shabdati University Kharpo. This is Mohammad Ibrahim Kokar presenting before you a class uh, for the student of uh, MA previous drama. This time we will be discussing a speech from uh, Shakespeare's play Hamlet. This speech delivered by Polonius to his son Larites as a piece of advice. Uh, presents before us the vn of shakespeare as a modern writer vn of shakespeare is a writer of all ages we do believe that shakespeare did not belong to any single age but he belongs to all ages and all the nations of the world to justify this statement of shakespeare we often quote and present this speech of uh, polonius polonius in act 1 scene 3 talks to his son larites who is ready to go to france to pursue his higher studies now, this piece of advice is not meant for Larites alone. This piece of advice is aimed at guiding all the university goers, all the students of the university who have in one way or other joined universities and are enjoying hostel life. Larites speaks to Polonius and I will be reading the lines and then analyzing this. And for the students, you need to note all these pieces of uh, advices delivered by Polonius and keep them uh, to you because future of uh, your studies at university belong to this. Polonius to his son Larites says, Yet here Larites, abroad abroad for shame, the wind sits in the shoulder of your sail and you are straight for because Polonius had already given permission to Larites to leave for Paris. But when he saw Larites still at home, he scolds his son that when everything is suitable for journey, when you are all set to pursue your goals abroad, why are you still wasting your time in home? And this is what we most of us do this. When things are ready, when things are ripe for our journeys, a journey to abroad when we are all supposed to pursue our goals outside we continue to stay inside our homes and Polonius does not like this and then he says there my blessing with thee and these few precepts in thy memory look though character then as a father he uh, offers his best blessing to his son and then tells him that there are some pieces of advice that I am going to deliver to you and as an obedient, as a talented and as a, a meritorious son you need to keep these pieces of advice to your heart so that your future goals, so that your future course of journey becomes easier and smooth. Now Larites tells and this is the first advice. L uh, sorry Polonius. Polonius says, give thy thoughts no tongue, nor any unproportionate thought his act. Polonius tells his son that when you are outside, when you are living in a hostel, when you are living in a university where, while you are away from your parents, there might be a number of people talking about different things. Now as a very good student, as a very good human being, you are not supposed to listen to all the talks, all the nonsense uttered by different people. And if any thought comes in your mind, you are not supposed to bring that thought into your tongue and express it. They and measure the thoughts and then on the merit of uh, these, you know, measurements, you have to utter these thoughts. And then everything that is uttered from your mouth is not supposed to be acted upon. Because there are certain actions that are to be taken, but those actions must be taken wisely and very meticulously. And then he says that, Be thou familiar, but by no means vulgar. Every university student aspires to be famous. And for that fame at university, students uh, stoop down to the level of vulgarity. Polonius advises his son that to be familiar is your right. You are supposed to be familiar. But this familiarity must not be brought at the cost of vulgarity. At the you know uh, level that you turn into vulgar. So be familiar but not by any means be vulgar. And then the third piece of advice is those friends thou hast and their adoption tried, crumple them unto thy soul with hoops of steel. If you have some selected and trusted friends, because every person has, uh, you know, a bunch of very good friends. 
so polonius tells his son that if you have some tested and tried friends never those friends slip out of your hand rather you must you know keep them very close to your uh, heart and then grapple them with steel hoops means there must be a very much strong and cemented bond between you and with your friends then he says a next piece of advice comes related with this but do not dull thy palm with entertainment of each new hatch unfledged comrade he says that you are trusted friends or your assets but every person having acquaintance with you is not your friend never take any person whom you are acquainted with simply as your friend because friends and acquainted ones are totally different ones every acquainted one is not a friend there is marked a distinction between tested friends and acquainted ones in university life you have most of the time acquainted persons they are not your friends so your trusty friends must not be deserted and every acquainted person must not be considered as your friend and then polonius goes on continuing all these advices and now mark that all these advices are related with today's life they have nothing to do with elizabethan age they have nothing to do with you know the era of 400 years back when shakespeare was writing all these things all these advices all these pieces of advices are relevant in our today's life and then he said tells his son be aware of entrance to a quarrel but being in be aware that the opponent may be aware of thee in university most of time comrades students fight with each other they enter into quarrel quarrels on petty issues on useless issues on trivial matters so he wants his son not to enter into any quarrel on trivial issues but he says that if it becomes necessary if you know there any quarrel is started then you must be strong enough to teach your opponent a lesson so that he may take care of entering into quarrel next time so don't fight but if it is necessary to enter into the quarrel teach your opponent a great lesson then he says take oh yes give every man thy ear but few thy voice listen everyone listen everyone but express your thoughts to your friends only and then he says take each man censure but reserve thy judgment you know seek consolation of everyone seek consult with everyone but judgment should be reserved for you your decisions must be taken by you alone your decisions must not be influenced by others costly thy habit says that purse can buy if you have money enough if you have you know pennies in your purse your habits must be costly according to those pennies it is said that cut your coat according to your clothes so this policy of uh, you know prodigal uh, consumption is given by uh, polonius to his son but he says that but not expressed in fancy rich not gaudy for the april often proclaims the men and they in france of the best rank and station are of a most select and generous chief in that if you want to spend your money then you must spend your money on your dressing your dressing must be dashing one because in france people are judged and valued according to their dresses so on one hand he tells him not to be spend thrift but he tells him that if you want to spend your money it must be spend on your dress because people are to be judged through their dresses and then says neither a borrower nor a lender be neither borrow money from anyone nor lend Uh, you are pennies to others because for loan often loses both itself and a friend because loan is going to lose itself as well as a friend your friend your friendship will not continue once you are involved in this matter of uh, business with your friends and borrowing does the age of husbandry and how would you borrow you borrow while requesting to others and that will disturb your husbandry that will disturb your status so avoid borrowing things and then this above all to thine own self be true and this is the most important line and most important piece of advice delivered by polonius to his son that of all the pieces of advice that he had delivered the most important advice is to be true to oneself because those who are true to themselves uh, polonius says can't be false to others he writes that and it must follow as the night the day though cast not then be false to any man farewell my blessing season this in the while Uh, addressing this while delivering these pieces of advices to his son laertes polonius uh, you know showers his blessing to his son now these pieces of advices are not meant for laertes alone when we uh, critically analyze all these pieces of adver- uh, advice 
we come to know that these pieces of advice are much relevant to the students of today than uh, uttered by Polonius for Laertes. Now Shakespeare has taken this responsibility of guiding all those university goers of uh, 20th century of uh, 2020 who are not being advised by their parents owing to different reasons. Some students don't have learned parents, some students don't have even parents and this responsibility is taken by Shakespeare and this you know section from Hamlet informs the students of responsibility and different duties to be performed at university. <coughs> this is a very important lesson. I hope that you have got the gist of this lesson. For more you know lessons and for more readings from Shakespeare continue watching my videos and go through the text because nothing can be substitute to text. Thank you very much for watching this video. I thank you all.